CT or CAT scan stands for Computed Tomography Scan, which combines a series of X-ray images taken from different angles and creates a sequence of images like slices of the bones and soft tissues inside your body, even the very small structures such as tiny blood vessels. Depending on what part of your body is being scanned, you may be asked to wear a gown and remove any metal items such as a belt, jewelry and glasses which might interfere with the images. Once in the scanning room, the technologist will ask you to lie on a comfortable bed that moves up and down and back and forth. You may be asked to take a special dye called contrast media, which helps highlight specific parts of your body on the scan. Contrast media may be given to you as a drink or as an injection. You may experience a warm feeling or a metallic taste in your mouth. Once you're comfortable, the technologist leaves the scanning room to control the examination from a console next door. The technologist will be able to see, hear and speak to you at all times via intercom and through the viewing window. You may be asked to hold your breath at certain points to avoid blurring the images. The table gently moves you into the scanner and its detectors rotate around you as it completes each separate view. You may hear buzzing, clicking and whirring noises. CT scans expose you to a small amount of radiation. The dose depends on what type of scan you receive and is always kept as low as possible while making sure that the image quality is good for an accurate diagnosis. All doses are considered low dose and newer machines and techniques require even less radiation than was previously used. The risk of missing a serious disorder by not having a medically appropriate CT scan is considerably greater than the risks of the scan itself. But like any medical test, if it's not needed, it should not be performed. Contrast media is iodine-based, and in just a few patients, it can cause an allergic reaction. Please tell your doctor and let us know if you are or think you may be allergic to contrast media or iodine. Patients who have diabetes or renal disease require special care because the kidneys are involved with filtering iodine from the bloodstream. The examination usually takes between 10 minutes and half an hour. If there are any specific instructions you need to follow before the kind of CT scan you are having, these will be sent to you prior to your appointment. You can resume your normal activities immediately after the procedure. If you were given contrast, you may receive special instructions. In some cases, you may be asked to wait for a short time before leaving to ensure that you feel well after the exam. After the scan, you'll likely be told to drink lots of fluids to help your kidneys flush the contrast material from your body. A specialty radiology physician will analyze your images and send a report to your doctor, usually within 24 hours.